So we're a few years into the cannabis explosion. You know, we, we got uh, legalization a few years ago in Colorado and Washington, and the, the states, more and more states are starting to legalize. Canada has, and you know, everybody's looking for that next great cannabis weed stock run. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the four things I want you to look for before you jump back in some of these weed stocks. Remember the, the golden days of 2015, going back a few years ago, when we had the what I still call the one real weed stock run. If you were around in 2015, you'll remember that's when again Canada and, and I think it was or Canada, Colorado and Washington legalized, and we had madness. You know, you know, you had stocks thousands of percent running over weeks and months. Of, of moves in these cannabis stocks. And since then, we've had a lot of fake outs. So what I'm gonna try and do is give you the four things to look for to not get stuck in the next weed stock fake out. Number one thing I want you to look for is legal events, okay? The simple fact is, whether you agree or disagree, I think the horse is out of the barn on, on cannabis and weed. And I think we're just gonna continue to see, you know, states, countries, uh, you know, municipalities, you know, all of these governments, they're just going to continue to loosen it. I, I think, again, whether or not you agree or disagree, I think it's inevitable. So if you're looking to trade a weed stock, wait for a actionable legal event. You know, if, if there's nothing out there, you know, if the, if, if the U.S. federal government isn't doing anything, if a, if a large uh, you know, high population country isn't doing something. I mean, don't be trying to trade a weed stock if some, you know, county in some small population state decides to legalize. I mean, that's not going to move these things now. You need big events. You know, again, one, one of them I'm waiting for is some word out of the federal, U.S. federal government. I think that could be something to really get focused in on weeds. But again, if there's no legal action, if there's no big elections, no big legalization events, you're just probably gonna buy a weed stock, get bored, and get stopped out. Second thing is I want you to focus on clean breakout charts. I mean, we've got hundreds of weed stocks, and you know, the simple fact is the majority of them over the last year or so have just been downtrending. You know, they've all been upper left to lower right. And if you're gonna try and buy that first green day that, you know, on a long-term downtrending chart, you might win, you might lose. I just don't think the odds are there. And what I remember in trading and in some of the best opportunities, the biggest trades aren't from being there first. You know, I think that's something a mindset thing I want you to kind of get over is you don't want to be first in a trade because if it's only you you find this quote unquote undiscovered gem, you need more buyers. You know, you need the whole market. You need thousands of traders, thousands of investors to be willing to pay a higher price for your stock. That's why stocks go up because someone's willing to pay a higher price. If the charts are downtrending, if everybody's a bag holder, if everybody's trapped in these, your odds are low. So there's only a few of them out there. Trust me, it's one of the best things you can do to get into a small amount of weed stocks is you're only gonna find a few that are breaking out multi-month. Most of them are gonna be long-term downtrending. Focus on the breakouts. In trading, you know, Sykes will say this, I will say this, um, volume, 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 okay? I, 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 I think I said it four or five times, but I'm making a point, you know, n avoid low volume stocks. I know I just told you to look for breakouts, avoid low volume breakouts. I mean, even if you're looking at the news, like I mentioned in tip one, volume is the confirmation. Volume tells you that the market cares, okay? I know I talked about, I think federal legalization will be a huge event, but the simple fact is, if tomorrow the feds legalize and all of these stocks have no volume, nobody cares. If nobody cares, stock isn't going anywhere. So start lining these things up. Uh, uh, a news event, a legal event, a breakout chart, 
and unusual volume, okay? If you're looking to trade a weed stock and it's trading its average volume, no one cares. If no one cares, the price isn't going anywhere. Last thing I want you to focus on, and this I think is one of the, well, volume is really close, but this is probably the most important is, and I mentioned it in the introduction, I'm trying to help you avoid getting faked out, okay? Trust me, I've been faked out on these weed stocks last couple years. You think it's finally happening, and it doesn't. They pop, they fade, and they go right back where they came from. How do you avoid that? Focus on multi-day moves, multiple green days, okay? Um, just like I talked about the volume confirmation, you know, when, when the, the move is really coming, the multi-green day will tell you that. Avoid one and done spikes. Avoid one spike, spike and fail. We've seen that so many times with weed stocks. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you don't have to be first, okay? If, if, if weed stocks do what they did in 2015, when we had hundreds, thousands of percent move, do you think you gotta be there for that first 10% move? I mean, if a weed stock's gone from one to 110, you think you gotta be there if the stock's going to $10 a share? You could be there on day two, day three, day four at two, three, four dollars a share and still make great profits because you waited for confirmation. So those are the biggest things I want you to focus on is not trying to be first, look for volume, look for a real substantial event, and I think that heightens the potential for weed stocks. I think it's coming, okay? Maybe it'll come today, the day you're watching this video. Maybe it'll come next week. Maybe it'll come next year. But I'm convinced when the stars align, we will get another weed stock run, but avoid the fake outs till then. So if you like these videos and you like the way I break things down, be sure to click the link below and check out Stocks to Trade Pro. Stocks to Trade Pro is a great way, I think the best way, to learn trading because I do twice daily webinars every single trading day. Never miss a day. I've done over 1,800 webinars in three years. I think it's a great way to truly immerse yourself in trading. So be sure to check that link out below for Stocks to Trade Pro. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.